Second question I have here today is, where should I give my tithe? Where? I get that question a lot too. And while the first question I ask comes from stingy souls, this second question comes from rebellious souls. Did you hear what I said? The first question, how do I calculate, comes from the stingy. The second question, I notice the people who ask it are usually those people who find it hard to submit to authority. Who find it hard to belong to a church. Do you know that there are Christians who don't belong to any church? They find it hard to belong to any church. They find it hard. Of course, they hide under all kinds of excuses, you know, these churches, you know, this men of God. Give me a break. If that church is a false church, get out, but find a good one. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Don't use, don't hide under all those excuses. When they are all out there trying to deceive people, I agree. They're a bunch of fools masquerading as men of God. But that's not an excuse to live and walk in rebellion. Look at what the Bible tells us in Psalm 68. In Psalm 68, verse 6. Get to that place. Psalm 68, verse 6. It says, God sets the lonely in what? Somebody say sets. Say sets. sets. Another word for set is what? Fix. Plan. He sets. The lonely in families. The next verse, the next line there says, But the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. There are a lot of folks that are floating from church to church. You know, to, I worship where the Spirit leads me to go. Every Sunday. Where are you worshiping today? It depends on where the Lord leads me. Where is your church? When I wake up in the morning, I will know. That person is a rebellious person. You always have to ask yourself, in which spiritual family am I set? In which house of household of faith do I belong to? The Bible says when you watch these people, and I've seen a lot of them, when you watch these people, the Bible says they live in a sun-scorched land. They live in a sun-scorched land. They keep drifting from place to place, floating from place to place, confused. Some of them all in the name of freedom. He watch their lives is chaotic. He has no order. He has no direction. They think they are wise, but they are fools. They think they are free, but they are slaves. But the, the lonely God says he sets them in families. So don't join those kind of people. When somebody asks me the question, where should I pay my tithe? I ask them a more important question. To which church do you belong? 